So guys, Pan Am's day three for me as a coach. This came, we, we got back yesterday morning at 2 a.m., but I have one more student. So I came back with the team, now I'm headed back. So I'm catching a flight right now, it's 3 a.m., got up, about to head to the airport, but I was craving some eggs. If you guys know me, my other profession is being a chef. Farm fresh eggs. So I'm cooking scrambled eggs and turkey bacon. <laughs> out the door of the airport so I got a little nervous but they moved pretty fast and had about 20 minutes to spare before having to load up on the plane so I'll see you on the other side in Orlando peace out it's too early Landed in Orlando. It's about 8:30 here. That was one of the worst flights I've ever been on. The lady next to me kept bumping me. I couldn't sleep. I would fall asleep. I'd get bumped. Fall asleep. Get bumped. So I'm cranky. Cranky. What's up, guys? So I just landed in Orlando. Um, it's about 8:30 here, and. Um, that was literally one of the worst flights. to get you ready for competition like this? Yeah, because whatever you know, you got to... When you put the puss in the Coliseum, whatever you know, that's what you're going to work on. So, yeah. out here, that's what it's going to... Now, what the downside to it is, you get here, then the guy go into the stall mode. Right? <laughs> you got a full... Sitting up full railed up, and then he goes slow. <laughs> and that's the whole part of it. That's what I'm worried about. I'm like, watch, I'm gonna get out here and an old guy gonna pull a guard. Put it on, man. And hold. Man, you pull a guard on you, that's that's what you want. You get the easy three points and hold him. Yeah. That's the worst thing. You like it and you start doing more tournaments. That's what happened to me. I did the one. 24 seconds later, I was like, no, nah, I ain't going out like that. Then 27 seconds later, <laughs> I said, maybe, maybe this ain't for me. <laughs> and then I won my third match. Yeah. So then that was the beginning of it right there. Look, fast forward a few years, you're in Pan Ams right now. Nah, I'm in Pan. Yeah, Pan Ams. Well, Pan, Vegas, and next year, plan on going overseas to do one. All right. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the goal. Yeah. I'm going to do it till the wheels fall off. Then I'll scale it back maybe about five or six a year. That's killing the back? Yeah, I mean, the goal still, you know, the goal still was at least one tournament a month or two a month. That was the goal. So, 
And after I do Worlds, I mean, after I come overseas, then, uh, you know. But I say five or six, but like I said, as long as somebody want to do a tournament, I get up and go do it. I ain't let nobody go to a tournament by itself. I won't do that. You know, if it just me, come down to me just taking off and going, I'm going to go. I'm not going to just like, you know, ain't nobody got to go to no tournament by itself. And I'm not talking about me going there to, to coach or support them. I'm going to do the tournament with them. So. All right. Game time, baby. Game time. Go. To the battlefield. Gonna pull your sword today? Got my theme music and everything. Alright, good. Two swords sharp as I was just playing. Alright. Comp team, baby. <laughs> Day three for me at Pan Am's, day four of Pan Am's going on. So we brought a big team out a few days ago. I had to fly back to town um, and then I had to come right back out here for the man. Andrell goes today. Uh, we, got a, we got some time, but he throws down today uh, at 5 p.m. Pan Am's, day three for me, day four. What's up guys? I'm here back at Pan Am's. I had to come back, fly back out for Mr. Rayford, Andrell Rayford. Day three for me. This is day four of Pan Am's. Black belts are going right now. The arena is is uh, electrifying. So there's going to be some good fights today. Comp team right here. So I had to make my way back for one of the comp team competitors. You ready, Rayford? You ready. Let's do it. Stay tuned, guys. Peace out. <laughs> guys that's a wrap for Pan Ams this year 2024 I am proud of the team um, everybody did good the support was unbelievable everybody put on a good fight um, and now I'm wrapping it up going home on a 12-hour drive so um, peace out and I can't wait for next year 2025 Pan Ams who's down let me know peace out guys El campeón. This is no stop. I was wet. First, second, and third, you wet. What you eating? My snicker. You always got that snickers, bro. I always got it. Can't go wrong. It's actually healthy for you. Really? Mm hmm I agree. Mm -hmm. I'm not a doctor or nutritionist, but I say it's healthy. All right, guys. We just left the venue. It's uh, about 6.20, 6.30 right now. And um, we are about to head home, so stay. Uh, I'm going to take you guys with us on this trip. We have about 12 hours uh, to get to the 901. Peace out. What's up, guys? I hope everybody's doing good. Just want to give a little update on this week. Um, I'm in the, in the car with Mr. Rayford. Um, we just finished up the final days of Pan Ams, guys. It's been a rough week of tournaments and coaching. Um, and we are headed home on our trip from Orlando so we got about 12 hours and so I just want to give some food for thought um, super proud of the competitors super proud of the team um, super proud of everybody that put in the work the training partners the team at home for supporting um, where team means family that's a real thing guys so good job to everybody and um, just want to say a little bit about jiu-jitsu jiu-jitsu is one of the greatest things on earth the opportunities the blessings that come with it competition the experiences gained 
uh, the travel, the, the friends made, the community, everything with Jiu Jitsu guys is great. So if you don't train Jiu Jitsu, train Jiu Jitsu, find a team and train and uh, you're always welcome with us. So Jiu Jitsu for the win like always guys. How long have we been on the road for? About two hours? About two hours. I had a quick pit stop at the Sonny's Barbecue. Have dinner, hit the road again. Stop by Publix, get some water. We just had dinner at Sonny's Barbecue, but it's rough, man, it's rough already. I just broke my fast, so when I break my fast, I get really sleepy, very sweepy. So I'm trying to stay up and I can't have caffeine. I took caffeine out for the month. Let's see how it goes. Peace out. <laughs> what's, what's wrong with you? How are you getting mad? <laughs> you already getting sleepy. Bobby, this is, look, <laughs> look, look. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> we good start. Good start to the trip, huh? <laughs> right. Sleepy yet? I've been sleeping. <laughs> What's up, guys? You can't hang. You can't hang. So, <laughs> I'm glad you got a truck driver with me because uh, it's 1 o'clock in the morning right now. Decided to make a little pit stop at Bucky's. I can't stay awake, I'll be honest with you. You can see my eyes. But, um, seven hours left. Okay. You gonna make the drive again? Gonna you gonna make the drive again? But to do pan? Uh -huh. Oh no! Exactly. Everybody <laughs> said they were gonna ride, ride with me. Just never get invited again. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Stop number two. <laughs> Three a.m. Have a quick trip. I don't know how. Rayford is still awake. I don't know. She's a trap. <laughs> a little over three hours left. Pulls over to taking a little nap. Uh, driving for almost 11 with all the stops and eating. So almost home. Guys, we finally made it home. <laughs> 14 and a half hours later. Good trip, fun trip, rough trip. Um, I will one lesson that I learned, I will not do that job ever again. <laughs> Simple. Ever again. I agree. I agree. So no more. enjoy. Peace out.